It's Thursday, and I know these have been so bright and cheery the last couple of days with Daily Dose. So I figured let's just continue the theme and talk about death. All right. So um, Ananias and Sapphira, they deceived, uh, they were discovered, found out, and now they die. And um, the spiritual principle that I want to talk about, while we see the physical death of their lives, which is super sobering, right, as believers, um, but um, there's something that sometimes we fail to understand. You know, Scripture says in uh, Romans uh, 6.23 that the wages of sin is death. And we forget that habitual and a lifestyle of sin leads to spiritual death. Um, and so... Sin is something that cannot be tolerated by God. Um, sin not only separates us from God, it sickens our own soul and it distorts our conscience. And sin wreaks havoc upon who we are as human beings. The, the human spirit was not made to endure a life of sin. We were meant to be set free by the power of the cross and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And I want to end this time by talking about the joy of Jesus and the freedom that we experience in the gospel. Paul said in Romans 1 16, I'm not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power of God unto salvation. Salvation saves us from ourself, from our sin, from our unrighteousness. And that's the power of what we hold up and we offer, not just to the world, but friends, we offer it to our own selves. Our soul needs saved and we need saved quite frequently, don't we? Because we're pretty sinful. It's easy for us to deceive and to put up a front. It's easiest for us to be hypocritical or judgmental. And if we're not careful, we'll be found out and discovered. And when we are, it can lead to some really hard consequences in our lives. So I just wanted to encourage you here this week when it comes to Ananias and Sapphira and some of the deeper sins. But tomorrow, I want to talk to you about something that I think is really important when it comes to this passage. So I'll see you tomorrow on The Daily Dose.